Total Pro Sports presents the 10 greatest father-son sports combos. Like father, like son. Many things that come to us are genetic. For some athletes, the traits they acquire from their father happen to be incredible athletic skills. When a superstar athlete has a terrific career, you have a hard time believing someone else in the family will as well. These father-son combos were something else. Number 10, Rick and Brent Barry. Rick the Sr. Barry had a wonderful NBA career that started in 1965 and ended in 1980. He became the first player to have a .900 free throw percentage. The Hall of Famer led the Golden State Warriors to an NBA championship in 1975. His son Brent won the slam dunk contest in 1996 and won two championships with the San Antonio Spurs. It was quite a story for this father-son duo. Number 9. Dale Sr. and Dale Jr. Earnhardt The elder Earnhardt was a successful NASCAR racer, winning the 1998 Daytona 500, 1995 Brickyard 400, and won seven Winston Cup Series. He sadly passed away during a race in 2001, devastating the sports world. His son Dale Jr. followed his father's footsteps, winning the 2004 and 2014 Daytona 500s and winning five Can-Am duels heading into 2017. These two forever changed the racing industry, and we happily challenge another NASCAR family to duplicate the Earnhardt success. Number 8. Calvin and Grant Hill As our list will show you many of the best father-son combos played in one sport, but the Hills are the exception to the rule. Calvin had an NFL career that started with the Dallas Cowboys in 1969 and ended in 1981 with the Cleveland Browns. He won Super Bowl VI with America's team and made it to four Pro Bowls as a running back. Grant played in the NBA from 1994 to 2013, making seven All-Star games and registering 17,137 career points while making the All-NBA's first team in 1997. Number 7. Lee and Richard Petty Lee the Elder Petty was an American NASCAR pioneer. He won 54 races including three Grand National Championships and the 1959 Daytona 500. Lee's son Richard didn't do worse, but only better. The younger Petty won two Grand National Series titles, five Winston Series championships, and seven Daytona 500 races, which is arguably the most impressive feat in the history of NASCAR. These two made life all about the track, and they made the most of it. Number 6. Gordy and Mark Howe With all due respect to Gordy's kids, his son Mark had the most impressive NHL career. The elder Howe was nicknamed Mr. Hockey for a season. Before Wayne Gretzky, everyone knew he was the best hockey player ever. 801 goals, 1,850 points show that. He won four Stanley Cups, six scoring titles, and six Hart Trophies as league MVP. Mark was no slouch himself, scoring 197 goals, 742 points, and was a three-time NHL First Team All-Star. Number 5. Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. It's impressive to see what both these men accomplished with the younger Ken allegedly having a suicide attempt due to massive tension with his father. Luckily, they put the problems behind them. The elder Griffey batted 296 in his career with 152 home runs, winning two World Series with the Cincinnati Reds and making it to three All-Star games. The younger Ken is a Hall of Famer who was the 1997 AL MVP, made it to 13 All-Star games, was a 10-time Gold Glover, and hit 630 career home runs. With no steroid scandal linked to him, he made it to Cooperstown in 2016. Number 4. Man o War and War Admiral Man o War was one of the greatest racing horses ever. He won 20 races and lost just one. He won the Preakness Stakes and Belmont Stakes in 1920, and many will think there will never be another racehorse as good as him, at least not in his family. His son War Admiral won 21 of 26 races he participated in. He won the Triple Crown in 1937, where he won all eight races. Not a bad horse racing career for either of them. Number 3. Archie and Peyton slash Eli Manning They are the most iconic family in football. It all started with the New Orleans Saints, legendary quarterback Archie Manning. The two-time Pro Bowler played with the team from 1971 through 82 and had 125 touchdowns and 23,911 yards in his career. Meanwhile, Archie's son Peyton became arguably the best quarterback ever, with five MVPs, two Super Bowls, and every meaningful record by quarterbacks, including touchdowns, passing yards, and wins. Peyton's younger brother Eli won Super Bowls 42 and 46, and was the MVP for both of the big games. 
Number two, Bobby and Barry Bonds. It was impossible to think Barry Bonds would have a childhood exceed his career. It happened, but make no mistake, the elder Bonds was a legend. His career lasted in the majors from 1968 through 1981, where he was a three-time All-Star and three-time Gold Glover, hitting 332 career home runs. His son Barry became the MLB's all-time home run leader with 762. The 14-time All-Star won seven NL MVPs and eight Gold Gloves. And number one, Bobby and Brett Hall. The greatest father and son combination in sports takes us back to the ice. Bobby and Brett Hall. Bobby won a Stanley Cup with the Chicago Blackhawks in 1961, winning three scoring titles and two Hart trophies. He scored 610 career goals and 1,170 points. His son, nicknamed the Golden Brett, won two Stanley Cups, and he scored the cup clinching goal for the Dallas Stars in 1999. His 741 career goals ranked fourth all time, and he had 1,391 career points, good enough to take top spot on our list. Who do you think is going to be the next great father-son tandem in sports? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, then please click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's a good time to do so. We upload seven videos a week. As always, we thank you so much for watching.